as a sale object. Okay, folks. Well, if uh, welcome in. This is Exile on the TurboGrafx-16. This is day three, hopefully the last day. I did find the next story progression point off screen, off stream, a little accidentally, but uh, I don't think that's going to affect. I only, it's only an NPC I have to go talk to. So that's all we got to do. Nothing great today, but I think you'll hit the the goal soon once you get a couple runs together. Nice. Okay. Very cool. I, I was I was lurking a bit, and I know this is sometimes what happens to me is uh, as the night goes on, I get a little bit tired, and the only time I have to really stream is at night, day jobs and all that kind of stuff. Recently, some family stuff, so uh, it happens. You hit a wall, and you know, like I just start getting tired. I'm like, the gameplay isn't as good, all that kind of fun jazz. So, anyway, let's get started, and I think it's the top. I think it was the top. I can't remember, but we'll figure it out. So where we left off is we're, it feels like we're coming down the home stretch. We're kind of in where we've traveled in time for some reason. So if you're not familiar with this game, it's an RP, it has these RPG elements. It's, it's a story based game for the TurboGrafx-16 CD, but it also is like the action is done side scrolling. So it's almost like a platformer at times. So if you can think of like a game like ActRaiser or I think maybe almost like a Castlevania, maybe something like that. I will say that, uh, okay, we gotta find an NPC here. The platforming is actually pretty fun. I wish the, uh, the end I, I, so the first, my, the beginning of the playthrough here, I, I game over like four times in a row. So I'm like, okay, let's level up. And I may have leveled up just a little, this is the NPC I needed to talk to. So there we go. So I may have uh, leveled up a bit too much because the game has gotten quite easy after that. So yeah, yeah, there, there's a lot of nudity right there, folks. You just, we just, I'm pretty sure we just breached terms of service there. So, okay, now, hey, there we go. Croton, okay, cool. So now we can go over here. I have not been here. This is the only thing I know that it opened up after finding that little thing. Okay, so now we're back into, I have no idea what the hell's going on. Hope I don't die. Uh, we'll do a quick save as we've been doing. Fantastic. And I am playing on a mister, so just so it saves to the SD card as well. Just playing it safe, you know? I anyway, hope everyone's having a good evening. Let's figure out what they're, these people actually have clothes on. So Pythagor Pythagoras has taught us that math is the root of all things. I didn't say root of all evil. The universal language. Oh, Miss Sadler, Hiram went to Ellen. I didn't. Yes, but it seems as if Hiram's been murdered. What? Heavens, this is the end of the world. Okay. What do you mean? Hiram was the only human who knew how to turn the Hiramuso into the active Holomax. Without the Holomax installed and working, there can be no peace. He was building home a shrine in an attempt to harmonize the mandalas and activate the Holomax. Basically, in the story, we have... It's just confusing as poop for a while, so... And the rah, it's necessary to get the Holomax. I don't get it. Yeah. The main characters is as confused as we are. It is simply an active Holomax. To make it active, you must have harmonized the Mandala. Okay. You must be... What? I was told to find you. Yabinchara. Now, that's a name I've not heard in a long time. When I was living a Spartan life in Kyra, I mastered the secrets of the Mandalas. The people gave me the name Yabinchara. Okay. Yeah, what's I, yeah, I'm kind of curious myself. Now, if we can recapture the Haramusa, we may be able to activate it into the Holomax. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Hiram's dead. Body has not been found. He must still have the Haramusa. Well, the legend says that the three followers killed him. Maybe they have the Haram Haramusa. I'm probably mispronouncing all of these, by the way. Three followers. That must be Ubella, Ubello, and Ubellum. They came to see me a while ago, but they were acting very strange. They must still be around here. If you find them, be sure to get the Haramuso. They mustn't learn how to activate it. Power That power in the wrong hands would be deadly. Okay, wow, that took a long time to get there. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Thought I had to go through that whole cutscene again. I'm like, holy quack. Okay, I, I, I have a really powerful sal uh, sword. It is... Here we record the movement of the stars. By the way, I have magic. How? What the hell do I do there? I haven't used. I was just thinking I haven't used magic at all in this game. 
Don't know what it's for. That guy's on the roof, so he's having a good time. That Carl, he's fascinated by the stars. Okay, well, no problem. Not here to judge. This is a conservatory. Music can calm the most savage beast. Okay, we got a conservatory. We'll figure out. Pythagoras knows everything. Well, really, does he? We big brains get so much more from life than you little brain. What the? I think he just got called stupid. This is Pythagoras' Academy. Okay. The square root of x squared times y squared. Isn't the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared? Right? Living here will enlighten you. This is the library of Croton. Croton. We house the world's knowledge. Okay, so there's the library. Ubellum and his men may be hiding in here. I'll check. Be careful. Oh, I want to save before I do this. Because we've already gotten a story dump, so I don't want to go through the story dump again. So, okay, hey, look, that's that's you know that's the one thing I remember from high school algebra. Uh, let's see here. I want to try using magic. I don't know what it does, even if I can use magic. Uh, back up. Save. Proton. Fantastic. Let's do this. Okay, I see these enemy these enemies coming right before me. I'm gonna hit my sword as fast as possible. Gotta be a right triangle. Okay, that's right. It's only for 90 degree angles. For 90 degree triangles. 180 degree triangle. Whatever the hell the thing is with the thing in. Okay, let's try this magic out. Use. Holy crap! Restoration? What the hell is that? Look at all of these magic things I have. I haven't used. I've been. I'm four and a half hours into four hours and twenty minutes into the game, and I haven't used magic. What the hell? Let's use fire slash three. Okay, this is really powerful. Oh, yeah. By the way, this game is all about Picador. Why the hell didn't I use this earlier? So if you've wanted to, if you've ever wanted to play a game where you just randomly select hopefully the right door, this is the game for you, folks. Cannot jump up there. Okay, so let's go to pick the other door. It's pretty awesome. It's really fan. Am I getting hurt? No. So you'll notice everything that takes one hit. I think this is because I, I over leveled myself in the first part of the game. Is there nothing here? Can I turn magic off? This is pretty awesome, though. Why haven't I used it? I, I can't believe it's taking me this long to discover magic. Uh, magic... Stop. I do see some value in magic. Okay, that was door number two, right? Yeah. Let's try door number three! No joke, no joke folks. This is This is what it is. Picking an effing door. I mean, there are times where I think pick a door might be a reasonable design choice. The whole game? I don't know. It's a bit. I hate to critique because I know people, you know, worked on this game and everything like that. You know, I'm trying to be reasonable, but it's a bit much. It's a bit much. Ooh, how do I get over there? Okay, let's go new on then. Uh, okay. Oh, more pick a door. Yay! Yay! I am so excited about more picking doors. <sighs> Crap. What do you have to do, game? Aye, aye, aye. Well, this is literally what this game is about. Picking the right damn door. I try to remember what's what, but... Uh, like I said, the platforming is pretty fun. It's this damn pick-a-door nonsense that I could, you know, I could deal with a little less. My guess is that if I wasn't completely over-leveled,
this would uh, this would be a little more challenging. Dude, right on the door? Come on, man. Give me a chance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right back in the same pick. Oh, son of a bitch. Can I jump up here? I can. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. What about down here? Didn't we already go in this one? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Left or right. Let's go in this one. Okay. So this is above the other room. I know where this is at. Okay, so see, I like this. It gives me a little bit of an indication where a platform might be. That's perfect. I love doing that. I am not a big fan of blind jumps. I could also do a little bit without Picador, but. Oh, you found me. Have mercy. I didn't mean to kill Hiram. I am only Ubello. Hey, we found Ubello. Ubellum killed him. So what do I do now? Okay, so we got to keep going and finding the next person. I am Ubellum. Uh oh, I killed that fool Hiram to get the power of the Haramuso. If he couldn't stop me, how do you think you will, fool? Well, that was a pretty good spot. I feel like I'm getting some hits in, and not, he's not hitting me at all. <laughs> oh my god! Well, that was a bit easy. <laughs> Ay ay ay. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep going. Uh. Okay, so there's you bellow, you bell um. I feel like I'm missing one still. Little area. Oh, and here's the third one over here. There we go, we did. Don't kill me, Lord, have mercy. I didn't mean to kill Hiram, I am you bella. It was Ubellum that killed Hiram and took his body. Okay, well, we did that. We, we, we got rid of all of them. Go team. Move on to the next thing. Now to find our way out of Picador. Okay. Is there anything down here? There wasn't anything like extra. Get excited. Okay, this will work. Uh, actually, wait a minute. If I go here, I'm trying to remember how this works. Oh wait, no, you just go all the way back. Never mind. I know what I'm doing. Oh crap! Yeah, I feel like we didn't. Even take any like we barely took damage most of the damage we took was from silliness silly nonsense so that's literally that apparently <laughs> jeez proton academy yug i got the haramuso great let's see pythagoras okay wonder if i should go eh, i don't need to help like that i think we're probably fine pythagoras ah you got the haramuso you, will you help us try to activate it? Certainly. Sadler, meet us in the triangular lake. I wonder where the triangular lake is. This must be the lake Pythagoras spoke of. The Hermuso has to be converted here. Ooh. Uh, you know what? I might want to go out and get some health real quick. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, I can't exit. Okay, I guess I'm stuck here. Oh, we have a cutscene. Hello. Yes, sadly, you're just in time. I have just finished making the arrangements. Did you bring the Haramuso? Yes, here it is. If the mandalas are yet in harmony, inserting the Haramuso into that wall should convert active holomax. Man will finally know peace again. Sadler, insert the Haramuso into the wall now. Surely you can't wait to see what happens. Yes, Sadler, hurry. Okay. Cutscene. Get comfy. Find your coffee. Wait for it. CD loading time. Just saying.
Uh oh. Sadler, you have opened the gateway to my reawakening. <laughs> no way. Didn't see that What's one coming. What's happening? <laughs> I am Shimbatha. For centuries, I have planned for this moment. With the power of the harmonized mandalas and Yuke's body. Mandalas. I can return. <laughs> what? What are you saying? Sadla, the answers you seek await you at Holy Shrine. Now we can finally go to the shrine and do some kick ass. Krypton Academy. What just happened? I don't know. Perhaps Shimbatha and Hiram are the same. But what? Come on, you didn't see that one coming? Hiram was killed in the 6th century. Apparently, Shimbatha has been plotting his return since then. What happened to Yug? I think Shimbatha has manipulated Yug from the beginning of your quest. He wanted to, in turn, manipulate you into restoring the Holomax. But instead of the Holomax, yes, he tricked me into helping him return. He called you to Hamas Shrine. The answers you seek await you there. Quickly! I must resolve this. No choice but to go. Okay, let's do a... It's not... Okay, so I say, why doesn't it let me go? Let me out! Uh, Thomas. I have a feeling we're coming up on the final boss. It's about damn time. Oh, gosh. Ah! Let's do a quick save. Last night, no, I might have accidentally pressed the wrong one there. We okay, away we go. Time to go in the scary door. Oh, the forbidden door is reopened. Okay. Let's go and use some magic. Why not, folks? Let's get crazy. that? Is that just overscan or something? I have no idea what that was. I like it when it's not Picador. Sadler, you were brave to get this far. Let me test your strength against your dark side. Ha ha ha. Fight your evil self. Oops. I feel like I'm a bit overpowered for the game at this point. This is just not even funny. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh, wow. What is that? These are the heads of those that sought to revive the Holomax in times past. It is from them that I draw power. Okay. Can't you see that the world is now in miserable failure? Filled with war and pain? Sadler, if mankind is to suffer by their own rule, they deserve to bend under my iron fist instead. Jeez. I tried to set this up in times past, but the last time three fools stole the Holy Max and took my life. Watch out. Now, I have once again engineered my reawakening. Are you saying I was manipulated? Yes, and I have one final task for you. You see, in order to complete my reawakening, I must have your head also. You know you want me to have it. Now remove it for me with your sword. Shimbatha, the world won't be better by your rule, and I will not participate in the plot. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that you feel that way. If you do not have the vision to join me voluntarily, I shall have to make up your mind for you. I am Shimbata. Okay. I am power. That was a dramatic pause. You are evil. 
<laughs> Sad lad. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Boss fight? Maybe? Possibly? Ow. Ow. Oh, it's kicking my ass right now. Jeez. I don't even know if I'm hitting him yet. Okay, I think I am. That indicated I was hitting. Oh, jeez, really? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What a game. This is not the end of my reawakening. Sadler, cut off your head and join me up in my new world. Uh oh, that can't be good. Heads. I was dreaming about a beautiful place. Everyone there lived in peace. She got enemy. she died off earlier in the story. Sadler, there's something wrong with this world. Sorrow, pain, war, and injustice have taken love's place. Will we ever see peace again? Oh, Rumi. Now I realize that utopia for all men is an impossible dream. There is no supreme. Only an absolute ruler who can bring happiness to all men in this world. I doubt the Holy Max ever existed at all. Okay. A little brutal. Oh, there you go. Game over. <laughs> Pain, suffering, and grief. The world must continue with these realities. Dang. But these will all turn to their opposites someday. Evil to good. Pain to pleasure. Brutal the story. Suffering here. to joy. Grief to hope. Damn. Dean Williams as Yug, the pain and Manny's ghost. Okay. I, I mentioned this. The voice actor is not bad in this game, actually. Kind of a brutal story. Keith Lack as narrator, Kakai's ghost, and Fakali. Or Fakali. However you want to pronounce it. Blake Dorsey as Sadler. And Rhonda Gibson as Rumi. Well, well played, voice cast. Hey, and here's the localization. Victor Ireland, Ryoji Mori, lovely. I don't really know the original story, nor do I have any sense of Japanese, so I'll assume localization wasn't bad.
Oops. Okay. Okay, token. We will open things. Visual per We're just letting the credits roll. This is exciting, exciting happenings right now. Getting everything ready here for uh, next game. Window. What a team. I assume this is you give some credit to the uh, Japanese folks. The original developers and designers, which is great. A lot of people worked on this game. I'm trying to think, early 90s, is this when teams started to expand? We had more than just like one person working on a game. So this game was 92, or at least this version of it was 92. I don't know if the original was a little bit earlier. Let's go look that up. Cooperation. Oh, gotcha. I'm like, what is cooperation? <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Um, let's see. I guess we would look for Exile, Turbo Graphics. And according to it, whoa, 1988 was the original game. Wow. And then we didn't get in the states on TurboGrafx 16 until 92. When was the PC Engine game? Oh, the PC Engine game was 91. So it makes sense. One of the CD games. There is, uh, I think, some. Uh, there's a sequel. I'm not sure if I'm going to play the sequel after this. Not going to lie. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, this is 1991. Okay, wonder. Oh, the localization was 1990. Yeah, Working Designs did their version in 1991. Okay. Hey, you know, what are you going to do? Well, there you go. There's a video game for it, folks. Any, uh, you know, epilogue, post-game content? Marvel-like, you know, teasing of the next uh, game that might be coming out. Let's see. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. It could happen. Everyone? Everyone? Huh? No. The game just ends. This is it. I'm pressing start and still nothing. Okay. There it is. Exile. Woohoo! Go team. <laughs> okay. So I just reset. Ah, what the hell do you do? Really? You don't do anything. Okay. You don't start a new game. You don't do anything. It's just over.